All right, welcome back to another national PSI real estate exam prep. And today we're going to talk about contracts. And more specifically, we're going to go over five questions with their explanations as to why they are the answer. Earnest money may become the sellers if the buyer defaults. Earnest money should not be confused with consideration, meaning it's not a mandatory component of the contract. Instead, it serves as a gesture of the buyer's serious intent and may act as compensation for the seller in case the buyer fails to follow through. The remedy available only to the seller as compensation if a buyer is in default is known as liquidated damages. When both parties in a contract agree on a specific sum as compensation for the non-defaulting party, it's their breach. This sum is known as liquidated damages. In the context of a purchase agreement, earnest money usually acts as liquidated damages should the buyer not fulfill their part of the deal. Actual damages, on the other hand, are the funds awarded by a court to a plaintiff for harm suffered due to the defendant's actions. Rescission is when both parties concur to undo the contract, essentially reverting to their status before the contract was formed. Lastly, consideration is a crucial part of any contract representing something valuable that one party offers and the other party accepts. A promise or something of value made by one party to induce another party to enter into a contract is consideration. Consideration involves a commitment or something of value exchanged between parties as an incentive for entering into a contract. In the context of a purchase agreement, it's the seller's agreement to sell and the buyer's pledge to purchase. Meanwhile, in property deeds, specific phrases known as words of conveyance are utilized to establish the rights being transferred. One contract was substituted for another contract. And there was a release of liability from the original contract. The term that defines the release is novation. Novation occurs when a new agreement replaces an existing one, effectively releasing any previous liability under the old contract. On the other hand, an assignment involves transferring rights and obligations to another party without transferring liability. Alienation refers to the act of transferring property ownership through the execution of a deed. A buyer under an executory contract has found numerous inspection issues the seller is unwilling to prepare. They both agree to terminate the contract. This is known as mutual rescission. Mutual rescission is the term used when all parties involved in a contract agree to revert to their initial status as if the contract had never been executed. Liquidated damages and specific performance represent remedies specified within the purchase agreement to address any default by a party. Mutual performance, meanwhile, occurs when both sides fulfill their contextual obligations successfully completing the agreement. All right, this was five questions to help you pass your PSI National Real Estate Exam. If it was helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe because we drop a new video every week to help you pass your National PSI Real Estate Exam.